Now, July has been alive with many charitable and outreach initiatives taking place in the name of Tata Nelson Mandela. And the 2018 CEO Sleep Out movement began last week with a night spent at the historic Lily uh, Leaf Farm on the 11th of July. That's 55 years after a memorable police capture. <music> On the 11th of July 1963, apartheid police conducted a raid right here at Lily's Leaf Farm and captured 19 political fugitives. This place was also a hideout for a man who was going under the name David Mutsamai, but he was not here at the time of the raids. Today, Lily's Leaf Farm stands as a heritage site honoring the haven it provided. So it's only fitting then that the first 2018 CEO sleepout takes place on the same date 55 years later. Greg, for those of us who aren't familiar with the CEO sleepout, what is it all about? So the CEO sleepout movement is, is comprises of the CEO sleepout trust, humanity and co and the philanthropic collection. And the idea behind it is obviously to raise charity for certain identified beneficiaries. CEOs from across South Africa and in particular Gauteng are invited to spend a night out almost in sympathy with the homeless and with a view to raising charity for, for certain different charities. Why the decision to align this initiative with Nelson Mandela and his legacy this year? Well, I think this year in particular is, is significant because it would have been his 100th year, his centennial year, and I think everyone in South Africa is trying to do their little bit to give back to communities and to the country in honour of Tata Madiba and his legacy. And what was the reasoning behind having the first CEO sleep out right here at Lily's Leaf Farm? Because Nelson Mandela spent a great deal of his time during the struggle years here, Lily's Leaf certainly played a part in his life and it resonates with everyone. So on this evening, which would have been the 55th anniversary of the raid at Lily's Leaf, I think what better place to have it than here. Dr. Makaziwe Mandela Amua, the eldest surviving child of Nelson Mandela with his first wife, Evelyn Masse, endorses the sleep out movement as part of her striving to embody her father's values. And why did you decide to become a patron of the CEO sleep out movement? Mainly because I think they're doing a fabulous job in terms of raising money for philanthropic causes. And uh, this is something that would, Tata would have embraced and supported vehemently because he believes that those who are fortunate have to contribute to uplift those who are less fortunate. The CEOs and business leaders taking part in tonight's Sleep Out will all be contributing to a list of beneficiaries, including the Salvation Army, the Kunu Food Security Project, Lily's Leaf a Farm and Museum itself, as well as the Salvation Army. As the Pan-African Ambassador for Food Security in Africa, why is it important to partner specifically with the CEO movement? It is very important for me because then they have a structure in place. And I've been saying this is what we need, something that is organized. And I cannot tell you how hard these girls have worked from the CEO Slayer out. Everybody, the whole team, have had sleepless nights putting all this together. And for me, this is a template. This is what Africa needs. So I'm hoping that they will also join me as I take this initiative across the continent. So it was very important for me and I'm really grateful and thankful that they've got that vision. So it's going to make it a lot easier for me. They reach out to masses and they're very visible. So it's going to help a lot. As these industry professionals hunker down for a night to be reminded of the harsh reality facing many South Africans, let's all remember to do our bit to carry on the legacy of Udata.